Hello and welcome back to another episode of Phoenix Point. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing the blind playthrough of Legendary Difficulty. This is a Black Ops, the highest Sinidran mission for diplomatic health entanglement. The Typhon Brigade, also known as the Death Squad of New Jericho affiliated um, enemies, is roaming the lands. And we have new weapons that I want to test specifically our new melee weapons, but I've also uh, just refreshed uh, some of the equipments here. Grell has a very nice arsenal of weapons with her. I uh, put some more firepower onto Shattered Realm with uh, the uh, new ancient uh, mm, grenade launcher and we got the Mattox of the Ancients as well. Super good weapon. Love it. Uh, mm, Drenks potentially is going to inherit that Maddox of the Ancient at some point. For now we're okay. Uh, the Crystal Crossbow, like I said, is a bit underwhelming. Uh, potentially we might want to give him the shotgun in the future as, uh, as well as we're going through all of the weapons. Uh, JP Pauly has a Bombardier, but that uh, does not give him uh, grenades, uh, uh, grenade launchers. Unfortunately, that one is not going to work out. But anyways, we got this here, Scyther, uh, which is our new beat stick, the main, the main beat stick. So I'm going to look, uh, or I'm very much looking forward to see if it one-shots every single enemy. Fantastic, we landed. One of the first maps I think that I've ever played was exactly this map here. Good old memories. Well, let's see if Ian the Butcher will be a butcher. Rapid clearance. And even the attack symbol has changed into a nice melee attack symbol. Okay, I get it. There are a couple of enemies. No way. <laughs> okay, that's even better than I would have expected. Holy shit, that is super strong. So, you're telling me I can stand here. Oh, now I know why it's called Scythe. Oh boy, behave. No way. Jumps up. Ian is a complete menace to society. The movement distance and just the damage is unreal. This is so drastic. Okay, let me just quickly dash up 
And whilst we're at it, dashing up again. Like I said, this is completely ridiculous. The amount of power of that weapon, I do understand why it costs more. But boy, it should cost so much more than what it actually costs. Dashing right over here. And it, by the way, also gets rid of another problem of these weapons. You don't, no longer need to directly stand next to a target. in <laughs> are we going to be able to clear out that entire map here with just one go Maybe. We're going to see about that. The enemies have already started to panic just based on the amount of kills that we have gotten. <laughs> this weapon is imbalanced. Okay, I see. Dash up to here. And are we handing? Oh yeah, we're easily handing over more. Moves up. <laughs> oh boy. I'm having way too much fun with that uh, weapon. The build, just the overall setup. Oh, 
Not sure where the remaining enemies are supposed to be. Maybe in this building here. It's hilarious if you think about that. I've been across the map uh, almost like two times by now. Good, end of turn. I think this is really the last guy. Oh no, it's not. You can see movement out there. I guess how to clear an entire storyline mission with 20 enemies in almost one round. The only reason why we haven't cleared it in one round was because we did not find the remaining two that were hiding. But they, the enemies had like 20-ish willpower. And after killing the first 10 enemies, the willpower was gone. And after killing like two or three more... The entire enemy team has already panicked, but then uh, Ian the Butcher Owens didn't stop. He just continued moving on and on and on and on until the point where he, yeah, the other is begged for mercy. Wow. What a dominance. And I haven't looked at the exact, uh, um, the exact damage, but I think we're hitting for 400 to 450. Also, we would be shredding. Not that that matters, because the enemies had, like, what, 200 hit points? And Ian could even kill himself in one hit. This weapon is completely and utterly busted. They're dead. Good. I abhor violence, but there are actions that simply cannot be tolerated. And so the alliance between Zenidrian and the Phoenix Project is sealed. Not the way I had imagined it, to be honest, but I suppose it's appropriate enough for the most horrifying time in human history. Now let's work on surviving long enough to build a world without death squads. Okay. We still have a lot of work ahead of us, making the world a better place. Well, it's certainly not an easy task. Wow. <clears throat> on so many levels. So, let's just grab the resources and we're meeting at the high at the hive. Two for ten, not good enough. I wonder if two for twelve. Yeah, it's okay. West Africa already has one. Mist Haven has one. And Arctica, I think, does not yet have a Guru. Alaska has one. Newfoundland has one. Europe definitely has one. One in the USA does not have one, and South America also does not have one. I would say we're putting it into Born in the USA, and the next one goes into uh, South America. Okay, sounds like a plan. I can't l let uh, you guys just leave 
leave with uh, that one mission. It was a one-sided, quite stompy situation, so yeah, we got to do better than that. Research. Project Domvoy. System to better protect havens by the use of uh, in infrasound emitters. Enemy bases within range of mist repellers suffer a 20%. Um, okay, well, that sounds good. Recruitment costs reduced by 25, soldiers' recruitment decreased by 50%. Mm hmm. Okay, I I am realizing I also need to build uh, more research facilities. So, which haven is going to be our hub for more research? We'll put one more archaeological base in here. And South America looks like a good start for a research lab store up here that's expensive good that's enough for now we don't want to overdo it and we need to also make sure that we're not uh, spending too much for now let's just get the research labs as for the remaining bases let me just check something real quick shall we so here we would have a research facility for free it's essentially just needs uh, rep uh, repairing so Let's open that one. Um, no. So where else? Oh yeah, we had one up here. Then I think we had one here, yeah. That is another research facility, so we got two there already. Good, we're opening the ones with the research facilities next. Mainly because it is still cheap enough to, to do those. Just a tiny bit more expensive than uh, going for a normal research facility by itself. But overall, um, we would get a full structure on top of it. So I call that a win in my book. Now, second team needs deployment. And we wanted we wanted these guys to be well equipped. Running a few grenades on in the grenade launcher on top of uh, the fury might be not too bad. Oh, it's great armor uh, reduction. Andrew Ender Sanders looks good. Uh, we just needed more ammunition here. Assault buddy. Yes. 
Can also build a few more mounds, I just realized. Let me put that into the manufacturing queue. So a few things here, and they are really not that expensive. One, two, three, four. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, we're never, we've never received psychic damage, so that one is completely useless. I think the blast resistance, you can make an argument for that. We'll take a few hours, but we'll give our second team the extras that they need. And it wasn't really expensive, so maybe we're even building more of uh, those going forward. I just realized we didn't have any extras here. Some do, but some don't. Yeah, for armor penetration, I think it is helpful. The Bulldog is still a really reliable weapon. I like it. Could also use the Sanhedrin assault rifle just for more. Do we have enough armor penetration elsewise? Berserker here, Berserker there, Berserker there. Yeah, we easily have enough armor penetration. So I do have uh, this sniper, which might not be bad as well. But since that's more for a sniper only character. Okay. This starts to look very much like the Prime team uh, as we're getting more and more of the Sanhedrin weapons. You can say what you want about the Sanhedrins, but they're sniper, um, they are long ranged weapons in general, are incredibly potent. And we wanted Adrenaline Rush here. I'm wondering if we want to take that pistol or alternatively take the light sniper rifle. Let's try the sniper rifle. I haven't tried that yet. Natalia Ray, really good character. Hexer. Funnily enough. Or take the pistol instead. So we're upgrading a little bit. We still got... He's a heavy, right? Still got the option to also, instead of a pistol, give him a grenade launcher. And that will create even more armor penetration. Like that idea. Heavy. I think you lot. Would be well advised to take that grenade launcher. Oh, we wanted Adrenaline Rush. Hmm. Too much on one character, I, I suppose. We could upgrade Strength twice. And he even has Grenade Attack Range plus a Speed Upgrade. Hmm. How 
How much is that's way too too I don't think that we need a lot of ammunition here. And it's either the hammer or the neuralizer. Or we're just leaving him in encumbrance. Ah, that's not optimal, but I want adrenaline rush, so he will stay the way he's currently at. This is a huge upgrade. I very much remember that I wanted uh, to give him a proper weapon. Very good. Uh, mm. Ein is getting there, we just need more points. And what else do we need? Having that laser turret, great. I don't think we need uh, sniper rifle ammunition. Thank you. Yeah, we had... We had assault rifle, okay, cool. And we need electrical reinforcements uh, next. Good, overall, good, very good. Uh, we could use a bit more, does anyone have space left over? Enders could, theoretically. Just use this grenade. Okay, it's a very rich team in terms of opportunities. D different uh, playstyles are possible. Let's see how well we're doing. Good, we landed. So, we need to protect all of the key structures and the aliens are likely going to start on the other side. Where are our Sinidran friends? Nowhere to be seen. I was told there are defenders here. Let's frenzy everyone and take a good look where the guys are. Turret number one goes over here. Turret number two will be placed on this side. We've seen an... We've seen someone. Oh, there we go, sniper. Enemies are also over here. Uh, that's not good. But who knows? Maybe we can just jump up and uh, stun the enemies. Little green. Does little green things. Which is moving in. The Skrilla has guns, uh, does not have the shouting snout, and has extra plates. Okay, we can deal with that. Yeah, can't hit him from there. Jim, the hexer. Lining up a shot. Is lining up a shot. Waste of ammo. 
Okay, well, we gotta be careful with our willpower. This team here could Amen. definitely benefit from a better willpower regeneration. Currently don't have that. up getting the Sinidran sniper let's do this which in return moves up all the way over here and let's see if we can find an enemy sniper I think that could be one no he just has an assault rifle lining up a shot Good. Killed his main gun. That's not bad. He also starts to bleed. Um, is this... Oh, that indeed is a stun gun. I like what I'm seeing. Natalia moves up. That did not work. That worked much better. Again, we gotta be careful here. We don't have the same depth of will point uh, pools as the prime team. Sanders moves up. And it seems to me as if we had finally gotten our first victim. Got a few enemies over there. In my sights. No. That's not good. Could move over there and actually hit the guy. On my way. Uh, we destroyed the carapace, but didn't kill the guy. Overwatch. Yeah, I can't really hit anything any closer and I don't want to um, move up. Um, not yet. I think if we're really on top of here the Skrilla can't reach us. He can destroy three story buildings, uh, two story buildings, like all the way up to here, but three should be too high. I'm not sure. I'm just guessing here. I figured that that would be the case. We are definitely going into cover.
foot and a foot. Solid hit with a stupid poison spit. I was wrong by the way. The Skrilla still seems to be able to get at least parts of the rooftop. Kidding me? We are paralyzing our own guys. Oh. Okay, that was uh, the siren giving everybody in her direct uh, direct proximity haste wow okay wow 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 Skrilla is partially being taken care of. Starting to also remove some armor. Good hit. Very good. Got a lot of will po uh, points. Might as well use them. I think I got him some damage. Okay, cool. See, and that is why you want to have ghoul repellents because you can then still continue to be useful and not completely waste your turn. just destroyed 50 of our armor ourselves but on the flip side we also freed ourselves One. 
two, three, ready to engage, four. He's taken out, which is great. Now, just gotta deal with whatever is left there. I would love to get uh, to destroy the head. Wait until the head is in range. No, nope, that's not good. Still not good. Now it's good. All right. The hit, uh, most of the armor should be off. Can't shoot through you, unfortunately. Talia uses her new sniper rifle, the one that is ultra precise. We could get the heavy carapace down, which would, would make him a really, really good target. Can't seem to get the head. That's important. I Ready to did roll. not want uh, to get killed. We'll completely paralyze the guy next turn. I'm here. We're going to get a mind control next turn. But with the goo, it's a bit problematic. We can't really uh, prevent that from happening. Fantastic. Head is gone. No more goo. And the Skrilla is bleeding. That's a good start. Tyler Ready to fight. begins to try to take out as many of these guys as possible. Taking aim. Good shots. Good shots. 
That was a solid kill. Siren will continue to hide behind, which is a problem. I don't have a lot of counterplay here. Gotta snipe it open next turn and then just kill the head, I guess. So, he's bleeding for 110. There is a chance that we maybe will get uh, get him to retreat. Who knows? But that would make our life substantially more easy. Overwatching. Holding position. Overwatching. And now. Oh, that's a mistake. Damn it, we don't have the extra ammo with us. Who would not take extra ammunition with them? Okay, whatever. Tyler. Charge is over here. I just need the right angle. You have the right angle, dude. That's not an immediate kill. Also would be not bad either. Can we somehow uh, shred the head? I think we can. We just need to open the, uh, that up. Yeah, Jim needs to move anyways. Moves over here. Okay. Okay, this is not great shredding, but it is at least a start. <laughs> Ow. 
out of the field that means zero damage okay cool great programming by the way guys absolutely phenomenal Can't hit. Um, it's stupid that we can't really reach her. So maybe what we're going to do is actually kill her. No. Hundred. That would be eighty. Need a Need bit of right angst time. Leads for 20, still has some more hit points. Can't let that happen. I think she's down, right? Yeah, okay, she's down. That brings us over here. Next turn I need to um, frenzy everyone again. Carapace is already done. Hitting the torso and I would like to get out of range. I don't know uh, how the shots are being done. Okay, and turn. I think no one got hit. to three we're moving over here trying to reposition and that will get everyone into frame very good not sure about this master marksman moves out Advancing. I want to let him die. He did a good job so far. 
Might as well keep him alive for now. Do we have a plan? Have to focus. Let's just get this over with. Okay. <laughs> this guy has been so kind and effectively moved up in order to get completely paralyzed. I wonder I potentially can't get uh, get this uh, can't get the skrilla. There's still an enemy back there. On the move. Hexer moves up. Overwatches. I'm here. I'm going. Kitsu moves up. Um. Okay, let's move. Trying to aim. Good. Tyler moves up. Watches as well. Do this. Natalia moves up. And Overwatch is in this direction as well. sure he's continuing uh, to be paralyzed and I don't know if we do have uh, the firepower to paralyze that thing uh, takes a lot of bleeding damage already might just die by bleeding out it's hard to shoot like this one two Three. Switching. Got this one down. Now, 370 is just too much. Instead of using all our ammunition here, I'm just going to kill him. Down to 130 hit points.
I'll try and get there. Enders moves up. Nope. Nope. Okay, not good. Keep it together, operative. Are you kidding me? Just move a tiny bit to the side, dude. What are we doing? Right there. Good. Time to teach these little suckers a valuable lesson. Don't mess with us. You gotta hate them. There's no way around it. On the move. Kitsu. Removes them. Going. Uh, no, we're not electric striking. Are you kidding me? Not enough action points. On the move. Well, I tell you what. There you go. Cool. When we remove them, they uh, even get some action points back that was the wrong gun good we're completely out of ammunition great But luckily we got neuralizers. Ready for action.
these out of ammunition. Uh, we're just going to wait and that might be the end of it. Okay, could I have captured the Skrilla? Maybe, but I'm not sure. Seven hundred XP, I think that's a new record. Good. Big fat rewards and five. Additional uh, captures. We're now officially allied. And we're allied with everyone. Which is great, so let's go to containment. 60, 110, 200, 250, 300. Okay, not bad. Good stuff. Don't want to trade out of too much technology. Good, in terms of overall performance, we'll just wait until these guys here are done. And we're having another Pandora nest right there. And just one sec. Um, 942, not bad. Nah. Hmm. 2412, that's good. That's very much worth it. We wanted to meet at uh, the next Pandoran layer together, but first we're trading. So what I was about to say is there are three Pandoran layers. One is down here, which this team is soon going to do. That's the Prime team's job. And this is the Foxtrot's team's job. And we then do have a special mission down here, the Bitsian something mission. Trade out of food. Yes, that was a great trade. Two for twelve is okay, we can do that. Good, trading out of food again. And this team here would move on to destroy the structure. Oh, wait a second, we're moving to there. Good. Yet again, a lot of trading going on. Since uh, the second team hasn't left uh, the US base, almost all of uh, these nodes here are ripe for the taking. I want to get the upper stuff and then 
then we're doing uh, the alien facility. 2412 is not bad. And maybe if we're continuing to be that lucky with the Pandoran facilities, might as well get all of the diplomacies to maximum rank. So this year is going to be our next mission. I'll cut the episode uh, here because we've already gone quite uh, quite extensively deep. But yeah, that that will be the next big mission. I realize we need more research. That is my my current uh, takeaway because there is still so much more to research. Like the queue is full. And I just want to get uh, to the actual, I'm, I assume there is a research mission that will allow you to win the game because currently I'm only Time Vault and Byzantium exist. So we're going to do that hive and the other hive on uh, on the other side right here in the next mission can already start flying there so that'll be our next episode these two missions and then the prime team will uh, take the Pandoran Citadel and the exploration site on top. That'll be another episode. And hopefully we're going to, in the meantime, get more of our um, ancient resources. You can see there are still so many archaeology labs queued up that we're actually doing quite well. So, on that note, I think we're okay to activate that base. Of course, there are intruders. Uh, this here is, by the way, for the um, for another research facility. So that was a, that was a good activation. Um, we can use the Prime Team after the trading here has been done to uh, do these missions and then also do the Phoenix Aeronautic mission. Just get that, uh, get that base set up. And I know we do have another base over here. Phoenix Charlie doesn't even need liberation and will as soon as the generator is repaired give us another uh, research facility that's it guys that's all i had for today um, if you want to leave a like i would welcome that elsewise we're going to see each other in the next episode of this marathon of a game thank you so much for watching and take care bye bye <laughs>